Hello YouTube, we've got another series of contraptions here to show you this time, but we took on J6. We'll start with the Grey Door. Now, in the Metroid Zero Mission series, a Grey Door was an event door. You could only open it when certain conditions were met, and usually those conditions were killing an enemy. However, they were only one way, so if you had one Grey Door, the other side would still be blue, which is always an interesting thing to try to accomplish, but I think I've got it here. And the way we did it was through the Better Than Wolves Lens Block. The Lens is a fantastic creation by Flower Child, which I fully encourage you to investigate as much as you can. Um, they can be used for sending long-distance signals, for redstone relays, or the way that I chose to use it, for, dis for block detectors. This detector here, using its two redstone eyes, says that there's always something on it, because there is the light from the lens. Because there's something on it, it's sending out a redstone signal to this little AND gate here. So here's what this circuit does. If there's light on both detectors, or if there's something in front of the detectors directly, then, only if there's both, because it's an AND circuit, we're going to output power here. This power will do two things. One, it'll open the gray half of the double doors, and two, it'll activate the blue half using this little added bit here. So this section would connect right here on your regular blue door relay. So let's go take a look at that in action. Oh, but the last, last thing here. If I get in front of this, or if a monster does, then one of them is blocked, or both of them might be blocked. Therefore, no redstone output because the AND gate isn't getting both yeses. Now, let's go find it in my map, shall we? It's been quite a fun map to design here, actually. Very, very interesting. I'm making it so that you can actually eventually be able to play through it if you've got better than wolves and the free movement mod installed. So, perhaps I'll release this if people say that they'd like to see it released. Alright, let's go check this out. Gray on one side, blue on the other side. Gray is open because there's no monster here. If I become a monster, gray's gonna close. Now I can go through gray, get on these pressure plates, and go all the way through. This is an anomaly, it's kind of necessary because of the immense size of this circuit. It doesn't actually have to do with... Pardon me. It's not because it's a gray door on the other side. Rather, it's because we have one of our Chozoida statues. And Chozoida statue in between two sets of blue doors requires <laughs> a lot of condensing redstone. Alright, so we've looked at the lens block. I just have two other small things to show you. On the subject of Chozoida statues, this is my approach to how I manage to make the ones that are naturally in the area and give you great gifts. It's just the final folded up version with the dispenser still there. And you'll see we have golden apples here, because these are just demo ones and don't have a specific ability. But, if we were to go to a Chozoida statue room, these are blue, just like in the game. You notice I used a couple of different shades here, it was kind of necessary. Somebody wanted to, when this is all done, go through and make a texture pack. That would be pretty awesome. I've made sure to keep materials only so that... I've used materials in such a way that a texture pack would be able to make this look exactly like the actual game. In here, we have our stone pick. And if you would be following the instructions when I post this up, you'd see that that would be exactly what you need to proceed. It'd be the next ability. It corresponds to the... Long beam, that's what it is. And finally, very small little contraption here. Just making use of block, detect block dispensers again. This is a one-way passage crawl. So, if you're in your morph ball form before you have morph bombs, you can get through it because it automatically opens. But you can't... But say this passage extends all the way to over here, your shot can't reach that far, so you can't get back the other way until you can destroy, use bombs in your morph form. And the point of this, me showing you this, is just another use for the block dispenser. You can see you can have them in an infinitely long row with just redstone and repeaters going to the actual dispensers themselves, just like you can do with pistons, the exact same way. And that's all for today's video, I think. In the next video, perhaps, we'll be looking at a potential Let's Play series, and that'll be that. Tell me what you think in the comments. Farewell.